Hey everybody, I'm out here on a hunting day trip and no, this isn't an episode from season two of The Huntsman. If you're not sure what that is, essentially it's a hunting TV show that I'm working on with mid-production. I'll drop a link below where you can check out the episodes that we've already released. But in between each episode, I still go out and do my own personal hunting in state forest. This is one of the state forests that I go to. And this one's a bit unique because about five months ago, it was decimated by bushfires, absolutely wiped out completely. Not just this state forest, but the adjoining state forest as well were completely destroyed and I've been really concerned about this place and so I want to come out here and have a look and just check it out. The second the authorities reopened the state forest after the fires, I drove to this spot on a scouting mission. What I saw was devastating. Once lush green ridges degraded to mountains of ash. I found multiple dead deer on the trip, including the remains of one sand behind that had died from the fires entangled in a fence. Just tragic stuff. The goal for that trip was simple, find a suitable location, set up a trail camera and monitor the health of the forest as it regrew. My hope was that eventually the wild animals would come back. So here we are five months later to collect that trail camera. Hopefully we can find evidence of life. It's still warm. <laughs> Climb some hills and it doesn't take long before you're stripping layers. Let's go. How tragic is that? Samba deer that have run into this pond to escape the fire. You can see the charred plants near it, only to drown. Oh my gosh, that's tragic. Oh man, unfortunately, this is what I was afraid of. More evidence of deer. You can see it's charred from the fire. Oh man, that breaks your heart. More here and here. More charring. I hope they're alive. That is a deer print. Have a good look at that. That is fresh. That is exactly what I want to see. But short of seeing a deer, either with my own eyes or on the game camera, that's the next best thing. That's real good. That's real fresh. Let's keep going. Not much has changed, to be honest, since I was here five months ago. It's still really black ground. It's just dirt. Barely any regrowth on the ground. Some of the trees you can see have started to grow a few leaves, but really the tops of them, most of them are dead. We'll just keep looking, we'll keep moving through. Get the game camera and we'll have a look there. But uh, so far it's not looking good. Not looking good. So this is a really good sign. I mean, bracken's not the best thing to have, but at least it's vegetation. And look over here, the whole gully is starting to fill with it again. So you can even see it down here, just over here. There's some grasses that are starting to shoot up as well, which is exactly what we want. A few more of those and the deer will come back. So the forest is starting to come back. That's really good. And no sooner did I say that than I saw this. Yes, more deer prints heading down into the valley where my trail camera is. Let's follow them. You can see here the distinct hoof marks either side pinching together. More, different set. If these go straight down to my trail cam, I'm gonna be so happy with the placement. <laughs> I'm gonna be ecstatic. Trail comes through here. And there's my trail cam. <laughs> How good is that? Let's go get it. So this area is completely different than it was before. Completely different. So much more green, I really picked a good spot. Oh, this is so cool. There are deer tracks all around this game camera. So hopefully, hopefully it's picked up something. Honestly, I, um, I didn't have much faith that it would be here, which sounds ridiculous because you know, we're in the middle of a state forest, but this is only the second time that I've used a trail camera. As I said before, they're not really in my wheelhouse. The last time I used one, 
it was probably, I don't know, eight years ago. And I bought one, I was really, really excited about it. And I said to my friend, where should I put it? And he literally dropped a pin in an area for me. He said, put it right here. I put it right there, literally. Came back the next day, it was gone, stolen <laughs> within a day of putting it there. So I didn't have much faith, but the fact that this is here and that there are prints around here and this whole area has started to come back. It started to revitalize, it's just, so encouraging, man, I'm encouraged. I can't wait to get this footage. So this is a Taylor 4K trail cam. You can see up the top here, it's got a solar panel as well. You can also connect to it via Wi-Fi. So you see I've locked it here, uh, but you can actually connect to it through your phone and download the images remotely. We'll check it with the phone and then we'll see if there are any images on it or if I need to take it off. So the battery life seems good. I wonder if there's any photos on here. There's a bunch of me. Even though the fires had only passed through two weeks earlier, the camera had already picked up wallabies, kangaroos, even this cheeky fox during the month of March. But as the month passed and we moved from March to April, April to May, I started to get a little bit worried, I'm not gonna lie. No large animals were recorded in the area on the camera. My fears started to creep back in. Maybe the deer tracks I'd spotted earlier were from a random deer who just strolled into the area, only to turn around once they were faced with the grim reality of the damaged forest and the lack of food. But then the 22nd of May rolled in and I was greeted by a beautiful sight. The hindquarters of a mature Samba hind. Honestly, it's hard to express how excited I was to see this and only two months after the fires had rolled through. Then the images got better. The same night, the camera picked up the hinds yielding as they fed directly in front of the camera. The next night, another group of Samba put on a show feeding past the camera. This time, the group had a young form with them. They were back again the next night on the 24th too. Then the moment I'd hoped for, but didn't dare voice. The night of the 26th, the camera picked up two images of a young Samba stag. It's hard not to be impressed by these animals and how tough they are. It doesn't seem to matter what nature or man throws at them. Bushfires, drought, predation, management, helicopter culling, hunting, they endure. A worthy animal if you ask me. Now. There wasn't much action in June, but that didn't bother me after having seen so much evidence of deer in the region and the extent in which the forest had already made steps towards rejuvenation, I was satisfied that they'd still be around. Oh, and right before I picked up the camera, our cheeky friend the Red Fox made another cameo too. Very, very cool. We'll leave the trail camera there. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll head back up. I'm uh, really encouraged by that. Honestly, awesome to see deer and other animals in this area, especially this particular gully, to see it revitalizing and, and, and regrowing. That's so good. If you do want to check out the Taylor cameras, uh, I encourage you to check out Eagle Eye Hunting Gear's website. They are sold there. I'll drop a link below. If you are a member of the Australian Hunters Club, you get a discount on Eagle Eye stuff as well. So I'll drop a link in the description where you can learn more about joining the Australian Hunters Club. But for now, we'll head back to the car, get home and have a look at some of this footage. I mean, the only thing that could be better than seeing them on the camera is seeing them in real life. <laughs> but anyway, let's go back. Oh man, that is so cool. That is so encouraging to see that Samba, Spiker and the Hind. There's actually a form with the Hind as well, although I didn't get that on camera. To see them with my own eyes in the area, that just brings me so much joy. To know that they're back in this area, they're kind of, you know, back doing their thing. That's just, oh man, I, I, can't, <laughs> I can't tell you how happy that makes me. Very, very cool.